What is up, my cranky crew? It's Ethan for Crank Game Plays, and today we are here in a game called Missed Messages. Now, normally, when somebody requests a game over and over and over and over and over again, uh, most of the time I don't really play it unless I really want to, but somebody in the community requests this game so much, so, so much. I'm not trying to call them out or anything right now, um, and don't do this in the future other people because if you just request a thing over and over again sometimes I may not do it but I felt like doing it today just to uh just to try and make this person stay a little bit so uh you know who you are uh the person who requested this a ton I hope that this uh brings you joy uh but this does actually look like a genuinely cool game which is the reason why um, I was like, okay, maybe I'll give it a try. And I haven't done a game like this in a bit. So, we've got some missed messages. Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. Mm -hmm. What a perfect day. We've got the laptop. We've got the tea. We've got the flags. We've got the plants. We've got the mirror and the papers and the outer door and the inner door. Okay. Let's check the laptop. What do we got on here? Work stuff. AX plus BY plus CZ equals D. What even is a four dimensional shape? Uh, I need to work, but I'm so bored. I can't focus. What is this? What is this? Goth GF's iPhone wants to send you a note. Of course I'll accept my Goth GF's note. Look at that. Look at that in it. Look at that. It's so cute. Send meme back. Send note back. Go back to work. Let's send a meme back. What did I send? I wonder if she'll respond. Thank you for the dog. What's the work stuff? That's all the work stuff is? What's this? Ooh. Another note? You're welcome. Pastel Princess's MacBook Pro. What are you up to? We need to go. We need to go back to work. I'll do some work and then I'll start wondering if I'll ever have to do this in real life. Where's Bill Nye when I need him to answer my important questions? Let's go. Let's see working, but God, <laughs> I'm gonna use that in the thumbnail. That's a good one. Let's go back here. I want to water these plants. Plants in rooms have proven health benefits. I put a bunch of plants in my office. They raise the air humidity, reduce toxic elements, and can improve productivity and concentration. No, I'm not making excuses for my plant collecting habits. My plants, they're doing okay. Actually, they're doing fine. Some people have kids. May and I have plants that are hard to kill. I'm assuming May is your girlfriend, diversity, your goth GF, and or my goth GF. Let's go to the mirror. I'm surfing looks today. The I just woke up look. <laughs> Anime! Let's check. Let's check the papers. You all right. Love May. Hope midterm went well. Got you boba. It's in the fridge. My precious Madoka Magica poster, which really is just a printout. Is that a real anime? God, they're cute. And some notes from my friend and roommate May, who is both distant and a total sweetheart. Let's see. Let's... To announce I'm big gay. I love tea, and that's the tea. Okay, well, I guess we just- well, hold on. What's the outer door? The door to the outside world. Let's go to the bathroom. It's poop time, gamers. I do what I gotta do, then go back. Okay. Oh. Wait, did I- hold on. Did I do- can you do anything? I just went, why am I here? Maybe I'll come back in an hour or two. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go back to the laptop. 3.6 contour lines. Wait, hold on. Work stuff. 3.6 contour lines are divisions in the graph until vector means magnitude is one. Okay. <laughs> Message me back, partner. Nice. Nice. How do I, how do I message back? Oh. I can change the music. I don't know what to do. How do I message back from that? 
Later that night, I went out to meet Goth GF. Before I left, my roommate opened the, her door. Hello. You're leaving? When will you get back? Probably after nine. Oh. Why? What's up? Uh, no reason. Okay, bye then. Wait! Um, before the day ends. Happy birthday. It's my birthday? Did my goth- My goth GF didn't even say happy birthday, dude. No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remembered. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I like the- the lo-fi fucking chill hop in the background of happy birthday. She sang for me sweetly. Thank you. No, thank you for being my friend. What's what mean? What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is so short. Why not express my appreciation for the people that I care about? In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend too. Aw. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Why did it, it like cut out her face? Like a picture. I met up with my goth GF. She told me her name. Oh, so we don't even know them in real life yet? We walked to the roof, laid out a blanket, and watched the stars. Let's let the time pass, you know? As the sky darkened, I grew addicted to Amy's smile. It's getting late. We should head back. Aw. You're cute. Goodbye, kiss. A little goodbye smooch. Isn't that nice? You're the cutest. No. You. <laughs> See you later. See you. I had... I had turned off my phone to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. You're a great friend. It's not your fault. I'm scared. Hey, sweetie, how was your day? I feel like this is not gonna be... good. I felt cold, nervous, but I didn't know why. The door. Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do. Oh... We're gonna open the door. We're gonna see if there's any... The door felt heavier than usual. As I open the door... My disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal circus I found myself in. I overheard strangers and friends alike talk. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? Second floor. You probably didn't know her. May? No, but that sucks. Most pitied way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remembered her smile, her laugh, the way she'd... Be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When people new came into my life, I searched for her and them. I couldn't help it. I hoped she was still there. It was only during the funeral that it really, that reality sunk in. At the funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. Her singing when everyone else forgot and her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crushed down to reality. The pain hit, this time without the anesthesia of shock. This was real. She was dead, and we were putting her in the ground. No one saw it coming. Could I have? Was there a message I missed? Uh, man, I, f I feel, like, bad now, because I didn't know what this game was about, and I started everything off, like, so jokey and stuff. I mean, this this goes without saying. But sometimes I think it's a, it's a good... Um, it's a good reminder that there's wait is she cut out of the the top now wasn't she there before but uh, this this does go without saying that you know no matter where you are in life no matter 
where you are mentally and even though your brain might be might be fighting might be fighting you on this like ending your own life is n never ever ever the answer and there will always be people that you know will will miss you and there will always be people who will be there for you, you know? Like, even even if it's somebody that you don't know yet, like, I, I remember a, a few years back, how many years ago was that now? It was a, god damn, it was a long time ago. It was probably eight years ago now. But I was going through a really hard time, and it wasn't anything to this degree, but I posted... Um, I posted something on Tumblr and I was just sort of having a really, really rough day. Um, and someone reached out, um, and she's now a close friend of mine. And it's crazy where stuff like that, even just sort of shouting into the void, like there's always somebody there to listen. Sometimes you just have to give, give it a chance in that sense, you know? And I think, especially for younger people as well, like, it does truly get better no matter, no matter where you're at. Like, it does get better and also it, it can and will get better, you know? But it's, it's not gonna, nothing's gonna change overnight. You know, it's something, it's something that takes time. But giving it a chance is the most worth it thing ever. Um, and I just, I, I know I'm not very good with my words, but I just hope that everybody knows that, like, knows that they're not alone. And I hope that people can find friends and find people that can listen through this community. And I know that a lot of people already have, and I'm, I'm really, really glad that people have. Um, and if you're having any any suicidal thoughts or anything like that. Um, I'll leave some links in the description, but um, just remember, I know that I've poorly worded this, but just remember that you're not alone and that you have a purpose, even if you don't know what that is yet. And even if you don't feel like you do, um, just know that, that your life matters and what you do matters even if you don't see it and even if you haven't found that yet um and even even if you're looking for sort of like a a sign to keep going you know i think i think a lot of people get to a point sometimes where where they're not able to to do something for themselves because of the way that people think about themselves i know that i have a hard time just day to day, like even with the smallest things of like giving myself a compliment or giving myself credit in any way. And I can very easily see how somebody wouldn't want to give themselves a chance or do something to help themselves. So if you're thinking about, about ending your own life or you're thinking about hurting yourself in any way, don't do it. One, don't do it for your own self. And if you can't do it for your own self, don't do it for me. Don't do it for the people around you who are in your life. And if you're at a point where you feel like you're alone and you don't have anybody, don't do it for me. Okay? So let's make that deal. All right? I'm going to I'm going to keep playing this game, but I just wanted to say that if if you feel like you're alone, if you feel like you have nobody to talk to, if you feel like you know you have you have nobody to keep going for, make that deal with me, okay? Keep going. We're going to go again. So we have more missed messages. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail. 
as if she was going somewhere better, as if she hadn't heard my voice lost in the blizzard. Don't go. Please don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow. I'd miss my chance. Wait, so does it not... Does it not reset? I woke up in a cold sweat, fearful, but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that. I should start working. Wait, so did it not happen yet? My roommate's door. She used to keep it open. Now it's usually closed. I remember that dream I had. I need to work. But that dream, I can't focus. Hold on. What's this? Should I accept it? Let's decline. Let's see what happens if we decline. I do some work and start wondering when I'll ever have to use this in real life horse Bill Nye. I'm just gonna keep declining to just, just to see what happens. <laughs> Cursed images. Hmm. That's weird. I hear voices. Seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. Door of my roommate, May. Getting closer, I hear voices. Although my Chinese was bad, I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. Oh, I have no idea what that says. Too lazy. Why don't you... Her mother's fast, lecturing Chinese sometimes paused for May's soft murmur of affirmation that continued. Felt like I was listening to something I shouldn't have, so I distanced myself from the door. I wonder if there's anything that I can do. Hmm. I wonder, can I take anything? Hmm. Books. So many books. They're all literally pockets of Viet Cong in the black in the back of uh, my shelf that don't know the war is over. Here's how to play erase a plant. Piracy for dummies are my favorite. Memes to movements. I wonder. Is there is there anything in my messages? Hmm. I can't go in the backpack, right? Let's go to the bathroom. And let's, I wonder, is there anything in here? I don't think so. The door of my roommate, May. I wonder if I should check up on her. Let's knock. I hesitated, then knocked. For some reason, I feared what I might find. Hello? Yes? Um, shit, what should I say? Hang out. You okay? Hmm. Let's do you okay. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I heard noises from your room earlier. Oh, thank you. I'm fine. Well, I'm kind of sad, but don't worry about me. Do you want to hang out with me? In case you don't want to be alone? I'd like that, but I have work to do. Take a break. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. I could use a break, to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back to her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on my bed, looking out at the setting sun. Let's talk about life. What are you up to these days? I feel like we haven't caught up in a long time. Um, a lot and also not much. A lot? Sorry, I haven't stayed updated. Stayed updated like I'm your favorite TV show. Don't worry about it. I feel like I don't make enough time for you. That's okay, you're not obligated to. It's your birthday, right? I forgot. You remembered? Of course happy I did. Happy birthday hmm. to you. She sang me happy, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had. Stu, how are you? How have you been? Fine, just tired. Big mood. How so? I don't know, like... A bone-deep tiredness day after day. Let's 
to this. Do you think you're depressed? Um, maybe? I took antidepressants a long time ago, but I felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's the type of antidepressant. Maybe you need to try a different one. Uh, don't take my advice, actually. I know nothing. Me either. Not just about this, but in general. I feel you. Has it gotten better, the tiredness? Not really, but now I kind of just want to die. Are you suicidal? Um. Sorry, was that too blunt? Feel free not to answer. Oh, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. Feel like we all do, though. Imagine how it'll go down, how it'll look, smell, the aftermath. Whether anyone would care if I was gone, not just how I went. Hmm. How would it go down? Do you really want me to talk about it? I'd probably cry. I know, you're awkward around crying people. Hey, me too, don't worry. Yeah, it sucks. Gun policy makes it hard to get a gun around here. If I had owned a gun, I'd probably be dead a long time ago. I'm scared of other methods. I might survive, and if I do, the pity people would feel. The brain damage that I'd have, it's scary. I'm glad you're alive. Maybe it's selfish, but I'm glad you're scared. I don't want you to go. You mean a lot to me. Thanks. I had a weird dream. Oh, what? It was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm? I called for you, but you didn't hear me, and I lost you. What does it mean? I have no idea, but it stuck with me. I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here, if you're still scared by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Oh yeah, bedtime stories. What do you dream? What are your dreams like? Disturbing. Someone always dies. Like my most recent one, it featured you actually. In a good or a bad way? Good. Go on. There was a massive epidemic. It was going to wipe out the world. I got infected. I was going to die. Then you discovered the cure. And I was saved. That's scary. I always knew I was going to save the world. Yeah, dream you really saved me. What were those noises about? Hmm? Earlier in your room. Ah, oh, my mom called. Sorry. Did I bother you? No, she sounded really angry, though. Yeah. She and I... Is everything okay with you two? I don't know. Every time my mom calls, I feel sick, angry. Do you want to talk about it? Talk about what? Why she makes you feel that way? You sound like a therapist. How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? I just want to help you. Yeah, I know. I was always the golden child when I was young. I was good at everything, so my parents never pushed me to work hard at anything. As I grew up, I started lagging behind because I didn't put in effort. The only thing I put effort into was writing. They yelled at me when they caught me writing. Writers weren't engineers or doctors. Writing never made, uh, would never make any money. Now my life is slowly falling apart, and instead of listening to me and helping me, my parents are always yelling at me for wasting time and playing games. Oh, thank you for telling me this. That's fucked. Thanks for listening. Hmm. I hope they realize that it's normal and okay to get in a rut sometimes. Regardless, I believe you. What do you, do you write about before your parents made you stop? My god, it's embarrassing. You can tell me. Okay, you won't laugh? I promise. Harry Potter fan fiction. You said you wouldn't laugh. Sorry, I'm just surprised. Don't be ashamed, that's awesome. I love Harry Potter. If you say so. I do say so. Why not do more of that then? Everyone likes... Uh, everyone likes writing though. Any creative, art, music, writing, it doesn't count. It's not true, there's plenty of successful writers out there. But I'm not them. I'd never m be able to make a living out of it. And my parents would get so angry. Would you rather live the way you're currently living or live poor but happy? 
Besides, who says you're not good enough to make it profitable? I don't know. What are you thinking of? Uh, I think I could be a good writer if I worked hard at it, but it's so much easier to give up and just not work. I could give up. I see struggle as a hill I need to climb to get the reward at the other end. You could give up or you could get the reward at the other side. Motivational speaker much? I've just had a lot of hills that I've wanted to just give up on. Have you ever given up? Nope. Well, sometimes. If it's something I don't care, I couldn't care less about, like math. But if I care about it, then I pull through and I never regret it. I'm going to work harder at getting my life, my life back together. It's tough, though. Yeah, it's hard to work on something you don't like. Give me a math problem and I'll snore. Give me a computer science problem and I'll look at it for hours. Thanks, I really mean it. I think my parents got into my head. I needed your push. Anytime. We talked more about everything and nothing. From TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before I knew it, evening dawned. I gotta go, I have work. Yeah, good luck, I'm always down to hang. Thank you for listening to me, it really means a lot. Although I also had work, I didn't regret uh, talking with May one bit. May's door is open. I wonder where she is. Hmm. What's this? Should I accept it? Planes, y equals mx plus b. After some time, I start to lose focus. A store is open, I wonder where she is. Hmm. Like, scared to check other stuff now. Hmm. Send her note back. I think a lot of times, sometimes, oh, I opened the door to my roommate, May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I... Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I need to go. Let's just hug. Can I hug you? She nodded silently. I hugged her. I wanted to say something, yet I didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you. You're so kind. I made soothing motions on her back. for being here. Of course. I know this doesn't look good. I needed to punish myself. I don't deserve your kindness. I really don't. Yes, you do. You're a good person. Of course, you deserve kindness. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. It's been months since that day. May and I have gotten closer. I'd even consider her a best friend. In dark mo moments, we've held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. I didn't want to want her to be dependent on me. So we drove to every therapist in town until we found one she liked. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. What for? I don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad, but I really appreciate you. Any time. Thank you, too, for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. <laughs> Later that night, she gave me a note, note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never-ending. I weakly cried for help, and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. There's something to look forward to after all. I 
I think it is really easy to uh, to miss those messages, you know, because I think when when you need help, it's one hard to ask for it, but sometimes you feel ashamed for asking for it or embarrassed or you feel needy or annoying or whatever. Um, but I think, I think just being present is so important to people and even just asking for help in a, in a small way of, of just like, Hey, will you just listen to me? Or, Hey, will you just stay here with me for a few minutes? And even just like, just being there for somebody, not necessarily asking about all of their problems, but just being present can do so much. Like just giving someone a meaningful hug or just spending meaningful moments with people I think is so important. And it goes way beyond what initially you'd think it would do. This game was really good. You know, very, um, very real and obviously very dark in some spots. But I think it's important to to remember stuff like this and I think it's important to bring some of this stuff to light sometimes and I, I haven't played a game like this in a really long time where it's a lot more serious and less less you know funny and wacky and goofy and stuff like that because there's a there's always a time and a place to be funny and goofy and stuff but there's also a time and a place and it's important to to play games like this that remind us you know to to reach out to people and to um and to be patient, not only with other people, but but with ourselves, because it takes it takes time, you know. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this one here, but I I hope you listen to to what I said before. You know, if you can't seem to keep going for you, I want you to try and do it for me. You know, so. Just keep going in any way that you can. If you can't do it for you, do it for me. Do it for your family. Do it for your friends. Do it, you know, make make a goal and, and take it day by day. You know, I think it, I think it's so easy to think of things in a, in a huge grand scheme of things kind of way where, you know, even just one year is a really, really long time in in your head, but... Just take it day by day, you know, just try and make it to tomorrow. And then when tomorrow comes, try and make it to tomorrow again, you know, just keep, keep going. Okay. So just make that promise to me. If you're, if you're feeling this kind of way, just make a deal with me that you'll make it to tomorrow. And then, you know, if you're ever feeling that way again, you can come back to the end of this video and make that deal with me again. Just make it till tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow.